Hello, Soul Family. It is Brittany back with another reading with a, um, I'm just, I want to try out another spread that I've been thinking about. This one is a, is still concerning finances, business opportunities are a new job that you're considering taking or even a new position at a current place of work. And the questions we are going to ask will be, will my needs be met? What would be the challenges of taking this new position or this new job? What is the advice and what will be the outcome? So for the first question, if I take this new position or this new job, will my needs be met? So you got the Queen of Wands. You might be a Leo or dealing with a Leo right now. Because you are affectionate, honest, and generous and creative, your needs will be met with whatever you decide to do, whatever role you decide to take, whatever um, upgrade in a current position you decide to ex accept. You'll be faithful to that job and that job will be faithful to you because you will be planting your seeds in fertile or fertile soil. That, that job or position is one that makes good money for those who work it. And you're the queen of wands, full of, um, full of magic tricks. You'll have some tricks up your sleeve. You're going to work that position till it can't be worked no more. So your needs will always be met. What could be the challenges of this of taking this position? King of Cups in reverse. So there might be somebody that you're working with that is going to be um, moody. They might be an emotional manipulator. Um, you might have end up having a boss or a co-worker that affects you because they're a heavy drinker. And you might run into a person of the same sex or opposite sex who's always looking for love. You might be a cancer or the person on this job or somebody that you're dealing with right now could possibly be a cancer. Does not have to be, but it's a possibility. What is the advice for if you decide to go ahead and take the position or this new job? What will be the advice? Two of Pentacles in reverse. Your advice would be... Oh, and Two of Cups came out as well in reverse. I feel like that's in reverse because it was turned this way. So we'll just move that right up there. You got two twos. Quite interesting. I feel like if you take this job, the advice will be not to juggle. Not to juggle between a coworker and your job um, title or your job um, duties, your work duties. Don't let this person who's looking for love um, get, get too close to you. And don't try to juggle. Don't ever try to juggle. Don't have love on the job. That's where a lot of things go wrong. Somebody will be at work and they'll think, oh, if I date this person that's ahead of me on the job, or if I um, date this person. See, that's where the emotional manipulator comes in. The person that's going to be moody and, um, and possibly a drinker, or it could be you. And then we see the cups here too. They might get you to start drinking with them and you might go into an issue. Or this might be your current situation. You could be dating somebody, dating a coworker at work, and you find yourself always having issues at work because you're with a drinker who is like fucking with you on the job, who's moody, who wants your attention your attention all the time, who's trying to emotionally manipulate you. You might have found yourself in a relationship with a boss or a coworker that has a little bit more um, 
what is that word um seniority over you and um yeah and they might be trying to emotionally manipulate you outside of work too like telling you what you can do what you can't do who you can't see who you can't date um and it might affect your it will affect your work situation so you can take the job if you want to because your needs will always be met because you are a hard worker but the challenges are you might run into somebody that's always looking for love and you might end up messing with somebody on your job that is going to be thirsty for your attention for your affection for your pleasure for your time and they'll be manipulating you so the advice is not to juggle not to um you see the two coins here being thrown up in the air throw that shit up in the air and walk away these two people with these two cups is in reverse so don't do it do not do not do not fuck with somebody on your job whether it's your current job or an upgrade or a new job that you're thinking about taking now what will be the outcome if i take this job and follow the advice what will be the outcome and i'm gonna pull two cards for this since two cards came out here what will be the outcome? Eight of Cups in reverse and the star in reverse. So if you take this job and you follow the advice given to you, you will not have to walk away from this job. You will not have any issues with somebody. This is like straight up. You won't be walking away. Eight of Cups. It shows somebody walking away from an opportunity or from something that they once loved. It was in reverse. You won't have to walk away if you follow the advice. The star. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or you can be an Aquarius or look out for an Aquarius on your job. Um, it's no harm to say, hey, when's your birthday? Since people want to be extra friendly and date you anyway. But it's in reverse, so if you follow the advice, you won't deal with this person that has seniority over you, or this boss, or this person that's a superstar at the job who you think, oh, if I date him or her, maybe I'll get ahead a little bit further. No, if you date him or her, you're going to be fucked up in the end. So the advice is to not date the person on your job that's thirsty for love, and you'll be just fine. That was a very straightforward reading. I don't feel that it can get any straightforward, any more like forward than that. Positive energies, spirit guides. What type of gift will my friends be blessed with from following the advice of this reading? What type of gift will they be blessed with? A gift of laughter. So you'll be very happy at your job. You'll make friends that don't want anything from you. You will make friends at work that um, you can go out with and go to the bar with. That you guys could possibly um, become like family with. You'll meet a friend that will always be willing to have your back. Your kids are late to school or need to be picked up so you can continue your work shift. You'll meet a friend that will be um, generous and pleasing and normal and, you know, family oriented. Um, you'll, yeah, I could see you guys going out to a bar or if you don't drink or if you're not into that type of nightlife or nightlife scene, you guys will be going out to get breakfast on the weekends or to lunch. If you're a woman, you guys might end up going shopping at Sephora together or going to get your nails done together, which I need a nail partner. Look at my nails. Anywho. But um, yeah, you'll receive the gift of laughter. You will be very pleased on your job and everyone will be pleased with you. So if you don't fuck with that fake superstar at your job, you will be the superstar at your job. That's a very straightforward reading. And yes, dear, your needs will be wet. met. I love you guys. Thank you for coming to kick it with your girl. You gotta go. Bye.